that was my exact reaction to Fort Park dropping plans for a 236 foot hyper coaster. What is happening? I can tell you what's happening, guys. Fort Park have announced they're going to build the UK's tallest roller coaster. Yes, bigger than the big one. Ah, not so big now, are you, you little black puddly and red steel speck? Fort Skyline is about to change dramatically. Standing at a whopping 236 feet, Exodus will beat out the big one's record by 23 feet and will also stand as the fifth tallest roller coaster in the entirety of Europe. This is so exciting. Do you know how monumental this moment is? It's taken over 27 years for this record to be topped and it's all about to happen, guys. So with that, you're watching Screw Loops and we're gonna be diving deep into the plans of Project Exodus. The site. This supermassive roller coaster will be located within the Old Town section of the park, finally providing a worthy replacement for the good old Logger's Leap. And I don't care what any of you say, this will be a million times better than Logger's Leap will ever be. So go log yourself. The park have also confirmed that Lumber Jump, the Rocky Express, and Timber Tugboat will also be removed to make way for this roller coaster. The future of these rides remain uncertain, whether they'll be relocated elsewhere in the park or demolished for good. <laughs> R.I.P. Maybe. That being said, this section of the park is perfect for a roller coaster of this size, thanks to a high density of tall trees, which help mask this attraction from being a massive eyesore, as you can see in the following segment. The proposal. That explosion effect makes everything sound so dramatic. From these images, you can see the park in its current state, with stealth standing at 205 feet tall, dominating the skyline. But with a bit of Merlin magic, here comes Project Exodus at 236 feet and stealth still dominates Fort Park's skyline. But how? These images are taken from locations closest to the local residents to show them that this huge 236 foot record breaking coaster won't be too much of an issue here. Since Exodus will be located much further away than stealth, means that in hindsight, this will look smaller than stealth from these locations. And from the other side, this is where the tree density comes into play. So this viewpoint is from the complete opposite side of the park taken from the A320 bridge. Now this is a lot closer to where Exodus would be so typically this would appear significantly taller than stealth from this angle. So with a bit of Merlin magic. Um. Brother where are you? Well it's there believe it or not but due to the density of the trees it's actually nowhere to be seen. And that is Mother Nature coming out as an unapologetic theme park goon ready to get blitzed and to be reborn as the next big GCI wooden roller coaster. We love you. And a bonus point for the view from Thrope Road Bridge. Thrope. That just sounds disgusting. But seriously, this thing looks like a monster from here. Just imagine driving past and seeing that emerge in the distance. It looks absolutely insane. Damn! Another factor the park must consider is noise, in which they have already carried out various noise surveys in and around the local residential properties. Allegedly, they have been testing out a similar roller coaster in Turkey to see how potent the noise pollution is. And they have already stated that Project Exodus is not expected to lead to any additional noise impacts. Other things which have been considered are the trees and landscaping, where they confirmed a number of trees will be removed, many of low quality, and also the ecology to protect any potential habitats and deliver long-term biodiversity enhancements. Right, now for the fun part. The ride! Ho ho! So as we know, this will be a 236 foot hyper coaster, the tallest in the United Kingdom. And taking a look at the plans, we can see this coaster in greater detail. So straight away you can see this is not going to be your conventional hyper coaster. And to be honest, this already looks to be one of the most extreme hyper coasters I have ever seen. And I'll show you why. So after this really wacky outer bank turn, you start climbing up the massive 236 foot lift hill. The lift hill is facing away from any of the attractions in the park, which will actually enhance the sense of scale since everything in front of you is minuscule. You then twist down this crazy 180 degree twisting drop, which honestly, if it's even remotely like the drop on Hypercoaster at Land of Legends, say goodbye to your bum cheeks because they're never coming back. You then go flying into this gigantic Immelman, quite possibly one of the largest inversions of any coaster in the world, and no doubt you'll be pulling stacks of Gs as you enter this element and a great deal of airtime as you exit. You then follow into what I like to call 
What the hell is that? I've never seen anything like it, but I'm sure it has enough ejector to send everyone to the south of Spain. Just look at it. At first it's an outer bank turn. Next moment you're spiraling down like Elon Musk joyriding a Falcon 9. This is ridiculous and I absolutely love it. Next you soar into another humongous element, this time a dive loop, and here is where you're really going to see the world flip onto its head. After a few seconds of hang time you plummet straight back down to the ground, or should I say water, because here is what appears to be a splashdown element of some sort. See, it's basically loggers leap. What is the difference? Then here we finish off the ride with a nice outer bank turn and a final pop of airtime into the brake run. And that is Project Exodus. Before I continue, I just want to give a massive thanks to Amusement Insider for letting me use their render of Project Exodus. They have some amazing content on their channel, so if you want to check them out, then click on the card above. Where you think you're going, mate? You can't park there. So looking deeper into the plans, we can see how much of the old town area is about to transform. What initially caught my eye was how close this coaster is going to get to the latter half of Saw the Ride. And also how much more exciting the view is going to get from Saw's outer queue. Instead of just barbed wire, trees, passing aeroplanes in the sky. Talking about queues, these plans also give a better idea of the queue for Project Exodus. And in a nutshell, it's part cattle pen hell and part smaller where you can look up and see all the green faces flying above your head. It's pretty much what you come to expect for a coaster of this scope. Whether this will be themed is a complete other story. As you can see, the gift shop and photo booth are located towards Colossus, in which you exit back into the plaza by Rocky X. Wait! You're gone! You <laughs> rock, dude! If you make your way down to the Splash Plaza, you can get yourself a little moist before waltzing down to Burger King for a double whopper. Get in! And tucked behind this will be the maintenance building for the ride. As for the maintenance paths, these are located over the side of the lake, but unless you're working at the park, you probably don't even care, so, um, there. Forts! <laughs> Forts. So, what are my thoughts on Project Exodus at Fort Park? Well, first things first, it's not your typical hyper. I think everyone, including myself, was expecting, you know, your standard out and back style hyper coaster, like a BM hyper, for example. Which, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't mind. But I'm so glad we're gonna get something that's completely unique to the world. This is gonna put Fort Park on the map of the entire planet. It's got this super intense vertical style layout, which I love. And I think if it is a Mac, and if it is anything like Hypercoaster at Land of Legends, we're all well in for a treat because that coaster is fantastic. Hypercoaster at Land of Legends is my number three. I believe it's seriously that good now for a possible theme maybe um sci-fi i mean they've been pretty vague on that kind of information on the consultation it's all about the layout and you know the proposal and all that so for a theme i think we will see that a bit later on but from all the teases and the name exodus it just gives off this sci-fi vibe i think my only complaint about it is it's slightly short, but personally I don't think that's a problem since the layout itself is so extreme. If it went on for longer, it might not be as tolerable. So this might be a nice short, sharp experience. I'm happy for that. Twitter topic of the episode. This is a new part of season two I wanted to do. I'm just going to get a Twitter post. I'm going to put it up you know, a week or a few days before the video, and then I'm going to select some comments and show them on here and share my response to those comments. That's the way it is. Today's Twitter post is, what's everyone think of Project Exodus so far? And we have Digital Dan, the legend himself. He says, it has the potential to be the best in the UK. And I am right with you there, Dan, honestly. I don't see how this can't be the best coaster in the UK. I mean, this thing is huge. This is a world-class roller coaster. I feel like this is the first world-class roller coaster we've got since maybe the Smiler, I'd say. So this is going to be a big thing, and I cannot wait. Theme Park Insanity, if Hyperion and Steel Curtain had a baby. Let's hope it doesn't have the rattle of Hyperion, because that would definitely ruin my experience. But I can definitely see the Steel Curtain comparison. It's very vertical, it's very tall, lots of large inversions. Um, it's Fort Park's answer to Steel Curtain, so... I can see what you're saying there. Ride Rater, 
world's highest inversion. What is the world's highest inversion? I think it is on steel curtain. I think it's the first element on that. Possibly, it's got a very good chance. I know it's probably got a good chance of being the highest inversion in Europe. So guys, many thanks for watching the first official episode of The Screw Loop Show Season 2. I did have a few other scripts planned for the first episode, but seeing as Fort Park dropped this bombshell recently, this just makes a lot of sense. As part of Season 2, I'll also be giving a shout out to anyone who has been an absolute legend in each episode. By this, I mean by showing you continuous support and engraving yourself in the Screwy Loops Hall of Legends. How official is that? And the first official member of the Screwy Loops Hall Hall of Legends is the editor guy. I just want to say a massive shout out to you. I always see your comments, you always give continuous support all the time. You've also made that crazy out of context video which is hilarious. I'll pop it up in the cards above if anyone wants to watch it. You are a legend and you're officially the number one screw loops. Hall of Legends legend, so thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button, smash subscribe for more content like this, and flick the bell to keep all up to date. Videos on the left, merchandise on the right, make sure to hit this button for the ride of your life. You've been watching Screwy Loops, Tarara bit.